Salutations everybody, this is Igbert Von Squid making a splash, and today we are doing the tutorial on avatar chairs. The process is super super simple, uh, I only want to make note of one thing, is that where you have the actual interaction for the chair and where a player will sit can be two completely separate things, and I'm going to demonstrate that by first starting for where I want the interaction for my chair. So let's say that uh, if I wanted somebody to sit on my back, uh, I'd want them to click on my ribbon up here. So to do that, I'm first going to find where the ribbon is uh, bound to, and I already know because I made the model that it's on my head. So I'm just going to create empty game object. I'm gonna call that chair, and just going to, whoops, that was not the angle I wanted. Position that right on my ribbon as best I can. Does not need to be accurate in the slightest, just about as good as you want it. Uh, look at it about here. It's about that's about okay, and then to turn it into a chair, all you need to do is give it the VRC station component, uh, part of the VRC SDK, and just quickly run through the settings. You don't really need to change much. Leave player mobility as immobilize. Disable can you station from station because then for some reason it lets players sit in your chair a second time, and then that breaks their IK. So you don't want that. Animator controller can be left a blank. You can put in your own custom animation controller or override controller and that will be used to change the sitting animation, but if you leave it empty, it'll just use the default, which is mostly what you want. Uh, later on, I'll talk about using a different one to fix certain things about chairs, but don't worry about that for now. Disable station exit. Even if you turn that on, if you try and build the avatar, it will turn itself off, so there's no point in leaving that uh, on. And seated, you probably want seated, maybe you don't want seated, it doesn't make much difference, but seated uh, sits the player, uh, in case you didn't figure that one out for yourself. Now, station enter player location and exit player location uh, define where the person will sit and where they will exit. So obviously enter player location is where they will sit. Uh, if you leave that blank, then the chair itself will be used. So technically we're already done because, you know, for both of these, they'll be used as the object itself if you leave them blank. We're going to not leave that blank because I want to have my chair on a different part of my body, and I'm going to do that as my chest, the back of my chest here. So uh, now I could go to the chest bone right here and just say create empty game object, but you'll see that my chest bone is at a weird angle, uh, and that's going to make it difficult. So I'm going to just make an empty game object outside of my armature. I'm going to call that chair, that was not how you spell chair, chair, position, I'm going to drag and drop that onto my chest bone, and just going to, oh, that's off center, there we go, and I'm going to position that about here, so the important thing to note about this object here is that the blue arrow signifies the forward facing direction, and the green arrow is the up facing direction, and it will line up with the model's origin point, which tends to be the feet, so if someone sat in the chair, uh, their feet would line up with this, and then the seated, anim seated animation sorry, would come into place, and then they're, uh, based on the height, maybe their legs would be like here, and then here kind of thing. Uh, it's kind of annoying because models of different heights sit in chairs differently. Uh, you can use a prefab to fix that, which I'll talk about later, but for now I'm going to just say like, uh, put this like here. Uh, so that's, that's my seated position, and now just go back to the chair object and drag and drop it in to station enter player location. And now when someone sits in the chair, they will be teleported right into this position. Now, very important note, uh, this may not apply in the future, but right now on the current version of the SDK, if you specify an enter location and no exit location, then your SDK looks like this. Uh, it lags and you can't use it at all and your log becomes spammed with all kinds of errors about how there is no exit location. Uh, so just make sure that you actually do specify an exit location if you have an enter location. I'm gonna say that it is also the chair position because that uh, it doesn't really matter what it is. It could be the chair itself, could be my head bone, could be my foot bone. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's just where the player gets teleported to when they come out of the chair. You could make a one that's like all the way on the floor so people fall out of the map when they get out of your chair. Who knows? Who cares? Important point for both of these is that if they are more than two meters away from the chair, then the chair will be disabled at runtime. So make sure that they are not two meters away from the chair. Simple. So once again, uh, technically, we're already done 
because uh, VR chat at runtime will give the chair a non-solid collider and then people can sit in your chair. But what it will do is it will just give it a box collider like this and it'll look like this and that would look really really stupid. So what you can do is you can put your own collider on there and mess around with that. So let's say you wanted like a sphere collider. You can have that sphere collider. There's no problem with that. So you can just resize the object or you could also resize the collider itself by clicking this little thing here and saying oh yeah, yeah blah 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 uh that's gonna be uh difficult to do correctly with the sphere so i'm just gonna resize the object itself and now you know maybe maybe that's a little too much you know 75 da, 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 move it over a little bit it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be perfect it can just be whatever it wants to be maybe like that yeah it's okay there we go. So important note, uh, normally if you have a collider on your avatar, then the performance ranking system will pick up on that and mark you down a point. But if you have a collider on the same object as your station, then uh, for some reason it does not count as a collider, probably because it turns uh, the is trigger on or something, something like that. And you'll see that if I go to SDK, build control panels, and I go through to show all performance options, we come down to Physics collider count zero. And just to prove that point, if you take this off and check it again, suddenly it counts as one. So now you're pretty much done. One final point that I want to make, and I lightly spoke of it a little bit, is you have this animator controller option to change your sitting animation. Uh, and what you can do is if you use a prefab known as Splink's Fixed Chair Prefab, then you have this nice, lovely controller called Fixed Seat. And if you put that in there, what this will do is, on your enter location object, is instead of lining up with your feet, it will line up with the hips of the model. And that might look a lot better for things like this. So now if I drag this up, then the model's legs I know are always going to be like this away. It's always going to be like this, like that. So using that prefab is super, super useful for avatars because then you can get it exactly just how you want it. The only downside is that it will override custom hand gestures and animations, which kind of sucks, but uh, you are going to have people sitting in your avatar correctly. So thank you for watching the tutorial. One point I would like to make is that videos are only a product of their time and they are not necessarily always going to be up to date. So if you're watching this from the distant future, uh, you might want to instead check our VRChat community wiki, which will have hopefully the most up to date information on how chairs work. I can't imagine them making any major changes in the immediate future, but maybe someday you never know. So check it out just in case. Uh, but otherwise, thanks for watching. Maybe next time I'll do another tutorial. That'd be great. Bye.